What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Isaac. And we are Cars and Cameras, and we are putting front brakes on the cross car. This is the first time we've ever done front brakes on one of our projects because, well, the other day I stepped on the brakes at like 65, 70 miles an hour, and it was terrifying. It scared the poop out of me. <laughs> <laughs> so we are rigging up front brakes on this thing from parts from GoPowerSports.com, a little bit of custom lathing by Ike, and a couple of parts from our CB750 chassis over there. So what do we got, man? Go Power Sports hooked us up with a brake master cylinder, front calipers, and a real rear caliper. I don't know what this is off of. It's off of one of their eight. I don't know. One of their one fifties, probably. Whatever that is, and uh, they hooked us up with it. Now we're not going to use this whole kit. We could, but uh, we already have the rear uh, brake caliper set up. It's the same caliper. Look familiar? Uh, and all we're going to do is use these front calipers. We're going to try to use the same front master cylinder so it'll be a single master cylinder system. Uh, it'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to redo the whole front master cylinder all over again since I did such a fine job already. So Totally. Yeah, so we're just going to mount these front calipers on the front and run the lines and hopefully be good yep because when your top speed is 80 plus miles an hour you kind of need front brakes kind of need more than a single master cylinder too yeah okay you got me all right i figured the first thing we need to do is try to make a bracket to mount to this spindle that'll allow the brake caliper to bolt to it All right, dude, I'm gonna go ahead and take the hub off and weld the rotor to the hub. Sounds good. That way we can figure out our spacing. So how are we going to get the tape out now? That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the tape wobbling. About as good as we're gonna get there, dude. So while I can finish up welding our brake rotor, I gotta show you guys a couple things. You remember that Red Trail 70 I bought a few months ago uh, for like 200 bucks and it was like just the bare, just a rolling chassis? Well, I started working on it. And yes, I'm gonna be making a video on it, but I'm taking my sweet time and I'm doing the whole build in one episode and I don't have all the parts in yet, but here's what it looks like so far. So our buddy Mike, who is Shadow Carts on Instagram. Um, go show him some love, because he gave us a new chassis for an upcoming project. So I know it doesn't look like much. It is, in fact, a rescue basket from, like, a helicopter. So someone could have died in there, in theory. Anyway, we figured that it would make the perfect chassis for building an aerodynamic, top-speed go-kart. And plus, if we crash, they can just dig a hole and throw the whole thing in the ground. Anyway, let us know in the comments if you like that idea of a top speed rescue basket cart. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We have awesome things in the store for the cross cart, for my Trail 70 with the rescue basket cart, and some other things. How's it going, man? Not well. Every time you weld it, it gets more wobbly. Yeah, so I'm done welding. I'm just gonna clean it up and hope for the best. Sounds good. Yeah, it looks legit, man. That looks 100% legit. Look at that. 
Yeah, dude, front brakes, bro. Nailed it, man, right here, put it here. All right. They're small, but like they have to be small to fit the wheel. Yeah. It looks good though. Yeah. All right, dude, we gotta take the excess bolts off because the uh, brake rotor's right there. All right, cool. Yes. All right, dude. Now, I put this thing together real tight. So when we're operating it, there's gonna be some self-clearing going on. So That's fine by me. There's gonna be some metal, metal to metal there for a little while. Uh, it might take a few hours of riding before it uh, shuts up. That's, That's fine. my guess. Yeah, as long as it works. Yeah. So I know ideally we would have had larger brakes on this thing, but remember we're using an eight inch wheel. So that was as large as we could fit inside the wheel. Oh, we got boogers on the, uh, yeah, we have boogers on the rotor and everything, but I can already feel it clearing up. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to put a couple of, Lug nuts on it. Alright, so there's that. Yeah, we really didn't have a lot of space to work with in there. No. But dude, as long as they work, man, I'm not gonna say it yet. You know that chunk? Yeah. It's a weight. Ah. Yeah. I, I knew that was gonna happen. So, uh, it's a. Uh, so one weight on top, we can remove it and move it uh, closer to the center of the tire. So we can't put a lot of wheel weights on on that or else it'll interfere with the brake caliper. Another thing that might interfere is if we get into a lot of rocks. Yeah, rocks can get caught in there. Get a rock caught in there. So uh, in the future, we might think about going with a bigger rim. Uh, but that's in the future. So, that looks pretty good, dude. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, it looks pretty legit, dude. Yeah, it does. Got her. All right. Our welder's got problems. It's that cord, dude. It's the same thing. Once we change the cord, it's fine. Hitting the wheel. Dude, that looks so legit, dude. Yeah, I know. It's very tight packaging. I'm into it. I like it a lot. By George, I think we got it. I know. I just hope it'll stop. Oh, it'll stop. <laughs> so, master cylinder. Uh-huh. We need to either make a proportioning valve, right? Not make it, not a proportioning valve, but a splitter, right? Or we need to put a dual master cylinder on it. Yeah. So let's figure it out. Okay. Good enough. All right. Those lines are a little long, dude. Maybe we can uh, figure something out. So are we gonna have to cut this angle iron out? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We need to open that door. All right, dude, I'm thinking, you did a nice job on that, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think we need two solid bars coming back to the back side of this pedal with holes drilled in them and have a tab and a tab and a bolt going through them. I think that's what we need.
Yeah, we. I see some air. How about hopping in it and stepping on the brake? Okay. And we got air in it. Probably is that as hard as you can press? That is. All right, look at We definitely have air in lines. I guess I could uh, pump it up and bleed it. All right, we have some daylight. Ike's gonna check the oil and we're gonna test these brakes out. Wanted to remind you guys, Mini Mayhem Fall 2019 is October four, five, six. You can register on our website, cars-cameras.com. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Can't wait to see you there. Ike's been doing a couple easy, regular driving laps to bed the brakes in. Then we're gonna try hard stop tests. Because he tried to send that team through the ditch. Oh, Ike is trying to kill himself. Hey! Winner, winner! I think it works. It locks up the front brake. That's solid, man. Yeah. I, I think uh, once the rear brakes, the oil gets burnt off of them, the back is going to lock up before the front. That's okay i think for us yeah it'll be fine but i mean the fronts are definitely working ah! Woo! <laughs> it looks good man it sounds good it's really coming together I can't wait to get a paint job on it. I know, yeah. We haven't done a paint job yet because we're not done modifying the frame. I think one of the last things we have to do is adding a cooling fan, but we're gonna do that next video. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates, mini mayhem, all that good stuff. Help support the channel and our future projects by picking up a hat at cars-cameras.com. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fun. Cars and Cameras reviews on Facebook and Instagram for updates in between videos. Thanks for watching. Front brakes. Check that off the list. We'll see you next time. What you got, man? Some gifts. Gifts? Some gifts. From Go Power Sports? Well, these are some brake stuff. And what are we doing with that brake stuff? We're going to be adding it to the uh, cross cart. Really? We're going to try. We've never done front brakes before. What's up with your accent? I don't know. <laughs>